London's music scene is a melting pot. We take as much inspiration as we give, and when it comes to celebrating legendary artists from across the pond, there are a few cities who do it so naturally. Understandably then, when it was announced that South African producer Black Coffee was to return to the UK this May to perform a live set at London's Coco as part of his UK tour, it came to no surprise that tickets sold out. Yeah, the past few years have seen the artist rise to the top of his game, and with his 2018 tour in full flow, thankfully it looks like there are no signs of him slowing down. During his time in London this week, I was lucky enough to sit down with a guy that became an international profile by changing the sound of house music. Hello, how are you? I'm good, good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So last week I want to talk about the collaboration that you announced with Sona Festival. Talk to us a little bit about that. We just did a mixtape. I was actually listening to it now. Um, <laughs> for me, it's, it's showcasing the young producers that I was talking about. You know, um, at the moment there's no structure, you know, back in South Africa. I thought this would also help, you know, to expose the music you know, and hopefully these producers that, you know, getting calls, getting gigs, getting calls for doing remixes, for production work, and, you know, like there's a young kid there, his name is Agento Dust. We have like four of his songs on this mixtape, mm. like four. You know, these are people that feel like they deserve to yeah. have the platform and, you know, be known and get the kind of following, you know. Um, I'm just flagging these guys to the world. I'm like, check out these kids, you know, in, the, in, in a few years from now, you know, you, you'll know more about them. Because you yourself were in that position that's, as well. That's, that's where I started yeah. as well, yeah. Um, I want to talk about the fact that 20, 2016, you collaborated with Alicia Keys, 2017, uh, Drake, Akon in this year. Yeah, we, we've done this song, I and mean, we spent yeah. some time in the studio. I actually haven't opened that song in a while. Yeah. You know, um, I'm, I'm working on my album, so I'm kind of like working with with everyone that I really love. Um, and, and Akon has been for years one of those people for me. You know, he's he's like also like a, a friend and a, a bigger brother. You know, um, um, so I'm putting together this this body of work that I'm hopefully going to release by the end of August. I spent a lot of time back in South Africa two weeks ago in studio with South African artists as well because. I want this album to be like that, you know, have the Heritage, world, yeah. you know. Yeah. I, I worked with an artist from here, I don't know if you know Tom Mitch. Yeah, Tom Mitch is a, well. I, yeah, 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 I work with Tom Mitch. I'm, so I'm trying to help all these yeah. different footprints, you know, especially the places that I know that, you know, I, I, I have been going. So that goes on to my next question, dream collaboration. But it sounds to you like... Um. Um, I have a lot of them, yeah. but one of them, it's like almost happening, uh, which is Pharrell. Okay. Um, we, we were working on the song uh, already, you know, we spent some time in the studio and um, I'm also working, uh, helping uh, David Guetta is doing his album, so I'm in the studio with him next week. I, I'm from the dance world, yeah. you know, but I, I, I consider myself a producer, you know, so uh, sometimes take off my dance world time, yeah. you know, and go to studio with different people and and do different music, basically. And how does that feel? It, for me, it's very fulfilling, you know, because I think I almost got trapped into one world of being a dance music producer, you know, when I've always known, you know, that I could do more, you know, and, and now I'm starting to, like, really do stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm working on a song with Yuna, um, Work on a song with Kesi for their projects. You know, I'm doing something with Diplo. Um, so th that's the world I want to be in, where I'm I'm doing songs. Uh, they don't have to be in the club. Yeah. yeah. So I want to talk about the fact that 2017 you collaborated with Drake. He is co-signing quite a few UK artists. Do you have any UK artists? Uh, we talked about Tom Mesh, obviously, yeah. that you've got your eye on. It would have to be Tom Mitch. Yeah. You know, um, I feel like he's. I actually saw him perform two weeks ago uh, in in LA with George Smith. He's bringing something so like bigger than who. I mean, how young he is. Mm. They, everyone wants to make like that wavy music. You know, like that club music. And he's bringing something much more d deeper that I feel like is balancing the industry out. You know, being young doesn't mean 
uh, we must all be hip hop artists or, 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 or Drake's or, you know. So to see a young guy like him, you know, being so rooted in, in what he's doing, is growing the industry, you know. Hopefully we're gonna start seeing some younger musicians mm. like headlining jazz shows, you know, some younger musicians doing classical music, you know, so that the industry grows in broader, you know. So for me, Tom, for, Tom Mish from here is, is, I'm actually trying to get him to South Africa to perform, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. He has a sister as well, Laura Mish. Yes, I follow and Laura. They're, yeah, they're yeah. very musically, yeah, yeah. musically talented yes. family. The entire, the entire family. <laughs> And final, final question. Final, Anyone, final, 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 final question. <laughs> Anyone that you want to thank that doesn't normally get a shout out? It's the UK fans, man. I mean, like last night was amazing. Yeah. Not just last night, I mean, every time I come here, I receive so much love. And yeah. this place to me feels like home. So big up to the UK for the love. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank it was you. It's an absolute pleasure.